Oh. Oh. Do you know? Because because we were down. Mac and I were downstairs watching. Yeah. A bunch of like clips of of like the best of Richard at Iowate, best of Sean Locke, best of um. Oh, Brits. James A. Caster Brits on panel shows and mm-hmm. stuff like that. You know, eight out of ten. Eight out of ten cats does countdown. Best of of Taskmaster things like that. Yeah. And I'm so unbelievably jealous. That's a career option, not a career option, but an option for them where that's like, yeah, that's that part of being a comedian. There, that doesn't exist. There's no panel shows for us here yeah. in New York and in, in the United States. Like that's not a part of our culture yeah. anymore. You know, they had a tough crowd for fucking two years. That's barely, and even that, that, that was that's like, more like a news show than a, yeah. That was more like um, politically incorrect. Yes. You remember that show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was Bill Maher's first show, right? Hey, Bill Maher. Yeah. What's the show now? Uh, real time. Real time. Um, but it's so, it's like, I'm like, that's literally the thing I think I'd be best at. Yeah. Cause like when I did uh, But that, here's the thing with, uh, American culture. Uh, most Americans are stupid. Yeah. They don't understand wit. Ah. And they don't understand nuance. Yeah, that's fair. And the, the biggest, the things that become biggest in America are broad mm-hmm. and are bombastic. Mm-hmm. And those are two things. Mr. Bombastic, Mr. Broad Bombastic, City. exactly. Two of the biggest things that ever happened. Two of the biggest culture. things that have ever happened. They call me Mr. Broad City, Mr. Broad City, Abby and the other Another one, one. <laughs> all over Brooklyn. Is she Jewish? We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but because that's not what the humor on the British shows is. Yeah. But here's the thing: it doesn't. Tra- I don't like British stand-up that much. It doesn't translate no. that well into stand-up. It's really interesting. At best, British stand-up is pretty good. Yeah. Like, like that one James A. Caster special is really, really good. Yeah. But he's had a bunch that I didn't like. Didn't care he would, for. But the the newest one felt more American than yeah than the rest of them. Literally, and like okay, other British comics who can think of like uh, you love Eddie Izzard. I love Eddie Izzard's Dressed to Kill. Okay. I, I've watched some of the other stuff. I'm like, eh, it doesn't yeah. grab me the same way that uh, that Dress to Kill did for some reason. Who's that one guy? He's like a really intelligent comedian. Oh, Stuart Lee. Yeah, people love Stuart him. Stuart Lee, I get a little bit. I understand the appeal. It's not for me. The same way I don't like Bill Hicks. Yeah, yeah. Stuart Lee, I get a little bit. I see the mechanisms of the jokes a little clearer. Yeah, than I understand that. I'm like, you are unbelievably good at this, and I don't like... It's like, it's like bands that I don't like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where I'm like, I'm, it's not that you suck. No, you're good because, at what you're doing. I just don't like the, the genre that you're doing. I just don't like it. D- Diplo is unbelievable at what Diplo does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Couldn't care less. Couldn't care less. Have you ever, seen, ever read the article thing about Stuart Lee talking about about how surprised he is that um what's uh, what's the late night host the the fat british late night host James Corden that James Corden's a huge Stuart Lee fan and he goes he's a huge fan of me yeah that guy why yeah. I, have no, <laughs> I have nothing for him <laughs> yeah, yeah he's yeah. an idiot yeah you can call him a buffoon yeah it's so but funny to call someone thing. a fan of yours a buffoon but that's the thing it's like american comedy doesn't lend itself to um, to that kind of panel show thing mm-hmm. because American comedy is either really political or here's me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or absurdity. Yeah. And British kind, British comedy kind of melds all of those together. Yeah, here's an idea bit. of me, a concept of here's, me that's yeah, not really you genuine don't know who me, I am. Yeah, but you'll never get to know me. You know, they're never pulling out the stool to sit on to get serious. Yeah, yeah. But they are they are doing. They hump the stool on the other side of the road. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they are doing like they are a little bit more of like um, spotlight. Here's my idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is well, I don't know, like, a lot of their stand up feels one man showy. It is because it's the it's the offshoot of the like fringe thing. Yeah, the Edinburgh where they every year they have a new show. A new show. Yeah. And it's not it's not what I love. I couldn't give a, what the fuck is a solo show? Are you doing comedy or not? Yeah. What but, the fuck? I think we both know the answer to that. It's a no. not. <laughs> it's a big not. Ugh. Oh my god, you put four jokes in an hour? That's so impressive. Yeah, man, you wrote a lot of words. Oh my god, a bad thing happened to you or someone in your family? Will you please write an hour? Dude. Oh my god, please do an hour show about it. Oh my god. Because you're the only person that something bad's ever happened to. It's the it's the infiltration of theater kids into oh stand up comedy. Oh my god, you're right. That's what it is. It absolutely is that. It's a the, bunch of fucking actors. Yeah. Ugh. It's like, hey, if you want to act, 
Go right ahead. Go Get ahead. Get out of the way. You're really standing in my way. You're really in my way. You don't see... Oh, yeah, I guess so. Um, <laughs> I'd be in a movie in a fucking second. Yeah. But that's but the thing. But I don't, I don't desire to act. I'm not going to acting classes trying to do bits. No. Um... But man, what a fucking dream that would be to get to do like, oh, this year I'm going to do Taskmaster. That's great. Oh, next year? Yeah. Eight out of ten cats this countdown every once in a while. Dude. Just when I want to. Because the, the, there's the, 30 comedians yeah, apparently in the, the UK. The ability to do Taskmaster would be. Dude. People have to have been, anything like that. I guess the only thing close to that was at midnight. Yeah. But not even. Not even because it's a one shoot. Yeah. So that's more like eight out of ten cats. That's more like eight out of ten cats. But doing people have done Taskmaster multiple times. I'm so yeah, just of any of the, anyone who makes money. Um, yeah, but it's also just uh, like so much fun. It looks like it so looks like so much fun, both the doing and then the recording the sh- the the, yeah. the together part of the show. I, I've been I've been really going through another. Yeah, I haven't been binge. just in that. You've been watching it without me. Yeah, I mean, there's some things that I can only I I, I, hey. I refuse to not refuse. But you didn't even put it out to me. I didn't. I just wanted to watch it. Wow. Wanted to watch it. I saved the I saved the Tour de France show for you. You did say we'll talk about that in a minute. We will. And we'll talk about that in a minute, everyone. Oh my god, someone please get me on Big Fat Qu- get Mike and I on Big Fat Quiz dude, show. It'd be so dude, funny to be a we team. We would we would first of all, we would fail spectacularly. <laughs> we wouldn't stop talking. We would be we would be <laughs> in so much trouble. They would have to shut off our mics like it's an Oscar speech dude, going along. They'd be like, Can you write <laughs> something down instead of just ev- <laughs> I got my shirt off. Uh, yeah. You, you ever see this shit? I'm, doing, fucking... push, I'm doing push-ups badly. <laughs> I'm doing bad push-ups. I'm trying to arm drag Jimmy Carr and get his back. Come Dude, here, you little fuck. Come here, you little fucking... see those hair plugs. Mu- you little fucking mannequin. Big well, not mannequin. Teeth. Marionette. Marionette. Marionette, I don't even know. No. Yeah, dude, I'd kill to be on Taskmaster. Dude, if we were on Big Fat Quiz together, it'd be unbelievable. They won't do it. They they're would, afraid. They're scared. They're scared, scared of the, of the real man. Of real man. <laughs> <laughs> scared of the real man. I'll, I'll, I'll quiz you till you love me, me guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the first Mike Tyson joke of the night. Of the night. We'll yeah, get some we're more in there. Say, yeah, we're not going to say that. We'll it's get the... some more in there. Don't uh-huh. you worry about it. I hope uh-huh. you're all doing well. Hope you're doing good. Hope you've had a good week. Also, real quick, patreon.com backslash a little, a little time, time pod, pod for four bonus episodes a month plus video of all eight episodes before everyone else. Don't forget about that. We're doing plugs a little bit early sometimes. Hey. We got to keep you on your toes. We were told it's bad to do them at the end. Yeah, apparently people don't listen to the end. Apparently people are, are busy masturbating or Scared. driving their car. Scared. Scared. Frightened. Remind me, I have two questions I forgot to answer uh, okay. last time. Don't I got a whole Dude, I got a whole bunch of shit. What's in that? You, everyone keeps getting mad at me about being on my phone all the time. Oh, and, and there's a, plastic, a fake phone? Are you gonna look? Are you gonna read while I talk instead? I know I have a bunch of stuff I want to bring up. That's great on the podcast. A bunch of things, ways I've disappointed you. Yeah, just <laughs> Mike's rule. Mike's new rules. Yeah, yeah. Mike. New rule. I talk. I talk now. <laughs> do you want two get, mics? Do you want to do the? Let's do that now. You want to do it right now? Everyone, welcome to the energy drink corner. How are bang. you? Bang. Not bang. Ooh, but not bang. We're doing bang. Uh, oh, another one from Kendall from beautiful. Uh, the Great White North. Ed- Edmonton, Alberta. Edmonton, Alberta, Virginia. Beaver Buzz Energy. Damn good. It's Saskatoon Berry. I really hope that's a real berry you fucks have up there. Well, Saskatoon is a beautiful... It's a beautiful... It's a beautiful city. What do they call them? They, call, they don't call them states. They call them... Uh, provinces. Prov- provinces. Provinces. I said it right, and then you didn't. Prov- prov- providen- prov- providence. 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 I'm saying it dumb and dumber. Yeah. I'm saying from I'm saying it how Jim Carrey says it in Dumb and Dumber, but that's Providence. Pro- Providence, yeah, it's close enough. No, it's not. It's like ninety percent of the same letters. Mm, you think so? But it's actually crazy <laughs> different. Really there's a there's a Z. There's oh, some extra. Oh. <laughs> there's some uh, uh, silent letters. Mm, I don't like silent letters. The the speak dyslexic. Up. Hey, speak up. <laughs> Say it or don't. Okay. We searched for a great tasting Canadian berry and ended up running back to Saskatoon where we found the wild and resilient Saskatoon berry. We ended we ended up mixing it with our potent buzz energy blend and created perfection. Beaver buzz, it ain't just good. It's damn good. Oh, that's funny because mm. it's like a beaver. Yeah, you got a beaver, D-A-M. Dude. What's going on? 
My my buzzer sucks. Oh, you got a bad buzzer. I got a bad buzzer. Hey, I got a good buzzer for you right here. Yeah, Beaver Buzz. Beaver Buzz Energy, energy drink. drink. It looks like shit. It Let's looks. See how it goes. It looks like shit, but the berry part Ooh. is is a really good pull. It's intriguing. Good pull. The berry part is is making me be like, maybe it could be good. What's the sniff? What's the sniff? Sniff is um uh, nothing. No, it's it's there. It's it's ah, blueberry esque. Okay. Blackberry esque, actually. That makes sense. <sighs> hmm. Interesting. Subtle. I'll, I'll let you. Do not mm. consume more than one can daily. Not recommended for children, pregnant, or breastfeeding women. And individual sensitive to caffeine. Why would caffeine. children breastfeed women? Yeah, I wouldn't. <laughs> Do not mix with alcohol. Those bitches eat enough. Um, Subtle, I would say. Not offensive. Not so bad. Pretty refreshing. Not Pretty too good. sweet. I actually, I actually... Well carbonated. I would say this. I quite like it. That's what are we pretty talking? good. High in calories. Oh, high cal? 230. 230? 230 for the Holy can. Holy shit. We're talking cane sugar, though. It's a weight-gaining energy drink. Yeah. That's very nice, though. It is really it's nice. Not, it's it's the a perfect level of sweetness for me, I yeah. would say. Yeah. It kind of tastes like... Um, ah, cane sugar is such clean ending. It kind of tastes like the uh, blue uh, Yerba Monte. Yeah. Which, thank you so much to Ivan at... What is that? Yerba Goyaki. Monte? Goyaki for sending us a bunch of energy drinks. Thank you, Ivan. I love you, Ivan. Unless, you, unless it's pronounced Yvonne. No, it's pronounced Ivan. I know him. Oh, well. We used to do jujitsu together. Well, and now he works for Guayaki. Well, hey, you know what? That's one of the best sponsorships I could ever have. I, if, we ha- if, you, if you sent us a flag, I would have had it hanging behind us. Yeah, man, that's good. That's damn good. I actually really like it. Kendall, you motherfucker, you've done it again. Kendall, the keeper, Canada, you the, keep, the keeper of the Excel sheet. Uh-huh, absolutely. Legend. Legend of the pod. Absolutely. Uh, Kendall at Dragon Heart. H A R D T from Edmonton, Alberta. Thank you so much for sending it. We have one more of these, by the way, in the fridge. Another one of I another one of this flavor, this or? brand, and I think it's a sugar-free version. Okay. I didn't look at it, but based on the color of the can, I'm like, oh, it's probably a sugar-free. Okay. Ooh, what's your what's your rating? I feel like I let you take the bullet a lot. You do. I'll okay do. I'll go first. Go right ahead. Three point five. Three point seven five. You know what? I agree with that. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you say, I agree with. <laughs> but I went first. Yeah. You're my best 3. friend. 3.75. 3.75. Beaver, Beaver Buzz, Buzz Energy. Energy. Man, I wish it was early in the day. I would chug yeah, that. man. Me too. <laughs> oh, it's good, though. I like I say early in the day. Like, it's not literally midnight. Hey, it's the earliest the day can be. It's, it's as early as it gets. So take a sip. <laughs> um, that's fantastic. Thank you so yeah. much again, Kendall. You're an angel. And we hope. You uh, have what, a prosper. great month. Yeah. That's fair. That's pretty good. I'm not going to say year. That's ridiculous. That's I can't to, promise that to anybody. That's a lot to ask of someone. No, I'm doing the thing where I wipe my nose and okay, suck in sorry. air. That was, I was, that's what I was doing. <laughs> okay. You kind of copied me. Yeah, do that. Do anything else. Wow. Dude, everyone loves copying me. Well, okay. People are always copying me. They're copying you? Yeah. Okay. What did you I, notice recently? That. You just did that. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm just sympathetic. We watched the Tour de France thing. I ride a bike too. You do ride a bike, and they're copying. You. They're kind of copying me. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, I'm Italian. A lot of people seem to be doing that. So many. Yeah. Nah, there's got to be other stuff. Probably. Yeah. Probably. I'm kind of a trendsetter. trendsetter. This is, here's the thing, though. That's not entirely false. People do copy me. We okay. see it. We've seen it. Sure. Don't say it like that. Like I it's can't not name true. anything, but I agree. I can name a lot of people in oh. the uh, in the Brooklyn open mic scene who took my fucking steez. They took your riz. They took their. They, I I was risen up, baby Gronk, <laughs> <laughs> or whatever. Oh my god! How quickly that came and went. Yeah, I, I don't even know what it means, but I think I just made myself a pedophile in that. <laughs> <laughs> There's a video of the 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 Gronk's dad, the baby Gronk's dad. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, I apologize, but it's the baby I, Gronk's dad. The ba- baby Gronk's dad, for some reason, only refers to him as baby Gronk. He won't say my son, which is hilarious. Yeah, he's, he's branding. He's yeah. like a branding dad, and he's DMing like every podcast and show, being like, "Baby Gronk's on fire." By the way, I did it in our podcast DM. Like, it's clearly a joke. Why would this guy DM us? I, I, I thought people would get it. 
But a lot of people were like, have him on. I'm have like, him on. You're fucking insane. Yeah, <laughs> dude, it'd be so funny if we were like, what's your shit? What's your fucking <laughs> thing? <laughs> hey, you could be on, but your dad has to see, see outside. Um, But there's a video where Baby Gronk and his father were on some podcast. And one of the hosts asks Baby Gronk a question. And Baby Gronk, Gronk just goes like, yes. And then the dad is like, that doesn't, that doesn't, that doesn't suffice. That's, that's not going to get a clip. So he goes, ask him again. And he goes, hey, say that. But he's like, it's a podcast. It's yeah. Just like, there's a full video. He's like, there's not editing. It's just, it's just like, God ask him again. It. And tells him what to say. And it sucks. And the kid is like, clearly exhausted by it. Yeah. It's going to be, it's, we got another baby Hercules. We got another, dude, we got a baby Hercules situation. We should going. ring the alarms because we have another baby Hercules on the way. Hopefully, this child kills his father. Did baby Hercules not kill his father? He didn't kill his father. Yeah, he should have. Did he? He should have. Or mother. I don't know who did it. Adult adult baby Hercules. That's what he is now. Adult baby Hercules. So adult baby Gronk is what How, how many dates in do you think baby Hercules brings up the fact that he was baby Hercules? I would say within 10 minutes. Do you think it's on his dating profile? Yes, I was baby Hercules. Yes, I used no, to have an eight pack. No, I don't look like that anymore. Yes, I have an adult sized penis. Yes, my balls dropped. Yes, I stopped taking <laughs> testosterone. No, you don't have to put Tanner on my back. No. Yes, I can still. I yes, I can lift as much as I could when I was a child. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never dropped. My PR has never dropped. My PR has been. My PR has been in the book since 1997. Dude. Yeah, man, that baby Gronk situation. I don't care. No I don't point. even know I'm anything not, about it. I don't care, it. but I mean, this guy's definitely ruining his child's yeah. life. Yeah, a lot of people ruin their child's life and they don't even get to make any money. That's a pretty good point. Thank you. That is a pretty good point. Thank you. It is weird how we're like, I'm this is t- the worst. I'm on team baby Gronk's dad. <laughs> <laughs> you're I'm you're on. a baby Gronk dad apologist. Yes, I am. That's fair. Thank you. There's a lot of bad parents out there and, and not uh, all of them are putting fake tattoo sleeves on their child during a football game. Yeah. There's a lot of bad parents, and a lot of them are poor, which is even worse. Yeah, my parents are good, but we were poor. Yeah, so that's fine. So that doesn't fine. apply to you. Yeah. My parents were medium at both. Medium at both. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. They were lower, middle, nice, mm-hmm. and we were lower, middle class. Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't think we were poor. No, I think you guys are fine. Yeah. I think we were fine. Fine. But then it also is funny to go to my the house I grew up in and be like, this motherfucker's small. This is a this is an apartment. This is a, an apartment this is an that's apor- not really This is a this is a one one family apartment. <laughs> a four sided apartment. There's yeah. really there's yard all around around. Yeah, it. dude. It's an apartment with a yard. It's really it is funny going in the house and like, what the fuck is, what's the point of this? Where's the where's the room? You have so much space. There's so much more lawn space. Yeah. I Imagine buying a house and filling <laughs> like sidewalk to dude, double front door. Yeah, I mean, oh, that man. makes so much more sense to me. I don't need a lawn. I don't. Need, I just want every. I want every inch of my Dude, home to be a home. The the lawn usage in my home was slow. Yeah, no. I'm not uses, playing in the yard. You're inside that's, kid. That's not where the computer is. No, the computer that has pornography it, is in the dining room. It's if dude, if only we had a dining room. It was <laughs> in the kitchen. The kitchenette. It the was, female kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> that's why it's littler. Yeah, yeah, it's small. It's more petite. Mm-hmm. Dude, it's so funny that I was just jacking off in the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so crazy. They just had it in there. They, had they it in were there. like, they were like, here you can kind of touch where your dad used to make you Mickey Mouse shaped pancakes, uh-huh. and here's where you learn how to jack off. Yep, absolutely. Well, your cousin Billy teaches you how to. He t- explains to you what jacking off is, and you kind of go on a journey mm. with it by yourself. No one told me how to jack off. He was just like, you do. It, this is what jacking off is, and I was like, holy shit! Are you kidding me, right, dude? My life is really going to be consumed with this yeah. for the next. Let's see. I learned how to jack off when I was 12, Mm -hmm. 35 now, 23 years straight. I've been jacking off. That's amazing. I'm I'm the Michael Jordan of jacking off. Why? 23. Yeah, there you go. (laughs) I'm like, wait, what? I'm not the best at it, but 23. Absolutely. You know? Yeah, I'm 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 the Michael Jordan of jacking off because I take everything personally. I'm the Michael Jordan of jacking off because I do it with a Hitler mustache. (laughs) 
Absolutely. Mm. Also, I want to give a quick happy birthday to Micah Bruce. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was my birthday yesterday. It was Mike's birthday, and we love him, and yeah. he's, he's older now. Man, I turned 35, and I still have a fucking bunch of roommates. Bunch of roommates. Dude, it was crazy how 36 not- won't get any better. Dude, it's crazy how nothing about my life changed. No. I turned 35, or younger if you're listening and you think I should be more successful, uh, but I'm 35, and I just went to work. Yeah. I just woke up, and I went to work. I kind of treated myself nicer. How? I let myself drink a Red Bull that had calories in it. I noticed that. Yeah. You had a yellow? I had a yellow Red Bull for my birthday. Lovely. Uh, Brittany and Justy came over with pizza. Pizza? After I was done with work. That was really nice. That pizza is so good, Really good? Williamsburg Pizza, shout out. Their vegan grandma pizza with the pepperoni. It's really nice. Uh, Diego got me some cheesecake. Dude, diet, dude, the diet cheesecake. It's fucking good. It's dude. really good. I really like. You just it. had the thought for fucking five hours, but yeah. it's really good. The New York style cheesecake is very good, and the key lime is pretty good too. I had a slice of the key lime. I don't love like lime flavored stuff. Sure. I don't think. Okay, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. I don't think I eat a lot good. of it. I, eat, no. I could definitely eat a lot more of the New York style. I could eat the whole New York style cheesecake. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, like pretty easily. Okay. Okay. But, yeah. Uh, I also gave myself a present of uh, getting uh, antibiotics. Oh, yeah. Because I, uh, the, on the day before my birthday, I... the n- Hours before. Like, hours the, before. The nights before. Well, this... Ha- okay, so what happened was, uh, about 7 p.m., I ate shit on my bike in front of a bunch of people. Which and then was, he fell. Yeah. I was, I was eating dookie on my bike. And then I fell off of it because I had dookie poisoning. Dookie? Oh, my God. <laughs> I, the doctor's I, like, how much dookie I, did o- you have? I OD'd. I over dookie'd. <laughs> over dookie'd. <laughs> They're like, how much dookie? A lot, So sir. much. Uh, but, dude, yeah, I, I rode by the culprit today. And I was like, yeah, man. Because it was the paint. It, it was when you're turning off 14th Street onto 7th Avenue. It has a painted bike lane and the kind of like uh, rumble strips for blind people. Uh-huh. And those were also painted red. Oh, wow. They're painted red, which we all know is the slickest paint. So slick. It's the slickest paint. And I took the corner going from 14th to 7th Avenue in the rain. And I fucking, my bike just slid out from under me. Oof. And I fell and I was like, oh, wow, I fell. Anyway, time to keep working. Mm hmm. And then, like, two and a half hours later, I got home and took off my jacket, and I was like, interesting. Mm. A lot of blood in my jacket. Oh, so much blood in the jacket. And I was like, well, because I felt my elbow, and I felt like I had, like, a big, like, bump. Uh-huh. I had a bump in my elbow, but I was like, or, like, like underneath my elbow, my forearm, kind of. And I was like, well, I fell, slammed my arm pretty hard, sure. probably. I just have a big knot there. And then I saw that I had a hole in my arm, and I was like... Interesting. I must have slammed it on something pretty hard. And then I was just, I was literally just going to glue it shut. Yeah. And then Mac was like, let me take a look at it. He goes, there's something kind of black in there. And I go, like, I think it's probably just ink from my tattoo because it got kind of got a cut on my tattoo. And he was like, you know what? Let me try to poke at it with some tweezers. And he poked at it and it was a piece of glass Uh or something. Damn. And, And he was like, and tried to pull it out, and he's like, oh, I can't. He's like, I'm having a hard time. And I was just like, all right, fine. And then I uh, found an urgent care that's pretty close. So I just walked there. Matt mm-hmm. came with me because he thought it'd be f- he thought it'd be really funny. Yeah. He was like, I think there's going to be a bunch of people all fucked up and weird there. And we were literally the only person. <laughs> in, we were the only people in there. He's disappointed. There's not he a was of really disappointed. People. Yeah, he oh. was. It's and like the Mulaney joke where, where they're going to go to a hotel as a kid and the guy working there has is missing an arm. Yeah. And the dad's like, do not ask him how he, miss, how he yeah. lost his arm. And they, they're like, hey, how'd you lose your arm? And the guy's like, I was born without an arm. And they go, oh. oh. Yeah. So truly, Mac just came into the room with me, so which funny. was really funny. He was just kind of hanging out there. Yeah. It's funny seeing Mac anywhere not in the apartment. Yeah. He came to the gym one. I, I was like trying to teach while he was there. And I like I just started laughing because it's like a yeah. big head was in the room. Yeah. Um. So we went there. They kind of had to cut me open a little bit more to pull to yank the big piece of glass out, and they just slapped some Steri strips on there and fucking. And give you a tetanus shot. I got a tetanus shot too because it was a piece of like a beer bottle. 
I didn't realize you were wearing a jacket. Yeah. So I was wearing my like rain jacket, but there's a hole in my rain jacket, but it's down near the wrist. But I guess when I fell, like my sleeve got pulled up and it like went through the jacket into the into wow. my arm. Yeah. It's a wow. thin rain jacket. Okay, it's like a shell, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a shell. Okay. okay. Um but yeah. So that sucked. But it actually wasn't that bad. Mm-hmm. It, like I was like, oh, this is gonna be like a whole thing, and it cost like fucking fifty bucks. Pretty quick, that's great. Yeah, and then I just had to like pay for my prescription, and then they do the thing where they're like, scan this QR code, yeah, and yeah. then hey, it's actually like nineteen dollars instead of a hundred. And I awesome. was like, awesome, I love nineteen dollars instead of a hundred. If I had to pick one, yeah, for for you to give me, I'll take a hundred. For but me to th- give you nineteen. 19. every time, and if I, if I could, it would be less. I, I how do you say half that? Yeah, nine. It was, <laughs> yeah, okay. Not the number in half. Yeah. I didn't divide it incorrectly. No, no, you just want nine. Nine, nine. Yeah, okay. Nineteen. It's I'm half of. Be German right now. Yeah. When I was at the urgent care, she was like, "All right, it's gonna be fifty bucks." She's like, "How do you want to pay for it?" I was like, "Can I do cash?" And she kind of like looked at me and was like, "She's like, do you have exact change?" And I was like, "What? Then why give me the option? Why give me? The why option? give me an attitude about the option you gave me? You just offered. You said yeah. it." Ugh. People. I've had a lot I've had a lot of interactions with people I don't like lately. Of course you have. Yeah. It's the name of the game. Dude, I was coming out of a deli. I was coming out of a deli on my way home from work today. Mm-hmm. And a guy was about to come in and he's in a and I'm about to walk out. And I think the person walking out has the right of way. Yes, I agree. The per- subway and, style. Subway style. The person walking out. Also, the door was propped open, so we didn't have to worry about who's holding the door or whatever. Mm. But he's wearing a security guard outfit, mm. and I was like, you think you have too much power? Because mm-hmm. he does th- he does this to me. He's standing on the sidewalk. Uh-huh. I'm inside the store. My little bag full of sodas. Sure. And he goes... Oh! He goes like this. Wow. I wanted to be like, first of all, you're not a fucking cop. You're not a cop. Second of Stop all, acting I like was it. already... Walking out. Yeah. I was already walking out of the door before you fucking did this. Mm. I was going to walk out anyway. What am I, your first Because date? I have confidence. Absolutely. Don't be doing this to me. Don't be fucking, first of all, it's these two. If he did, if he went like this to me. You've done that so many times on this podcast. I respect <laughs> it. Okay, but I do it off the podcast too. That's true. In the, in the cover of my own room. I'll do it. I'll do it whatever you want. Whoa, all of a sudden a man can't lick his fingers and make a finger emotion <laughs> on his own podcast. What's the fucking point of having a podcast I if guess- I can't? Be fucking fingering peoples in the air. Air fingering, baby. Get better at it. Yeah. Get gone. Dude, I saw something I never seen before today, too. <laughs> Was that a moon gum? <laughs> no, 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 I know. I've never seen that. Even if it happens, I go, ugh. <laughs> well, I <see. laughs> ah, no. That's like one of those things where it's like, uh, you know, like something good can happen while something you don't like is happening. Yeah. <laughs> That's what a woman coming is. Oh, okay. Because I'm like, ugh, I don't want to. Sure. I don't want to see this. I don't want to see all that. But I was I was leaving a I was walking up the stairwell of a what I was like walking up the stairwell. I've been copying your gestures yeah. <laughs> like it's five minutes or so. And it's making you laugh a lot. Yeah. So I was like, you know, kind of. Well, I knew well, that, that now you won't fucking do it anymore. Uh, I was but I was walking up the stairwell of a uh, uh, subway station today, mm-hmm. and in the stairwell was a guy smoking crack, which yeah. is a thing I have seen before. Yeah, yeah, like a lot. But he did. He was doing this. He would smoke the crack. He would blow it out, and then he was going like, <laughs> like he's like, "Hey man, I'm fucking, I'm, I'm so- sorry about hey, that. No, I'm sorry about this, man. Sorry I don't, I'm not- sorry for being so rude My to fault. make it smell like I'm smoking crack in here, just because I'm smoking crack, crack right yeah. here. Hey, a polite crack smoker is better than a rude. Polite I thought I was like, smoker. this is nice. Hey, this no is problem, really buddy. nice. But no just problem. to be like, hey, sorry about that, man. <laughs> oh fuck, sorry. It happens to the best of us. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, awesome. I thought that was pretty fun. Yeah, I saw a guy shoot heroin on the train once. I hate that, dude. Hated seeing I that. I don't like that. I oh, I I had so sometimes I'll uh, take my bike on the train because I don't care about anyone except myself. Yeah, you know that kind of thing. You're allowed to. Yeah, you're allowed to. I always stand at the front or the back where there's all the extra space. You know, I'm not like shoving it into where it shouldn't be. But I was getting off at a stop, and there was one of those dudes who's he was already standing in the doorway. Like waiting for the doors to open, so he's already in the middle of the doorway, mm-hmm. and he was smoking a cigarette, and he was gonna bring the cigarette on the train. Ugh! So I just hit him with my bike. Nice, because he like tried to walk 
he tried to get in the train. He was like getting in the train car, and I was like, I'm already walking forward with a bicycle. Yeah. Oops. What are you gonna do? Yeah. Too How about late. this? How about this? If you say anything, I'll hit you with the whole bike. I'll, the I'll whole pick bike. up the whole bike and throw it at you. It's I heavy. Don't care. It's sharp. I couldn't and care dirty. less. It has so much. In- it might have been the night that I was all cut up too. I bet. I bet. I, bet. I was already in a mood. Mm-hmm. I had a big piece of fucking beer bottle in me. The dangers of alcohol. It never ends. It never ends. They hurt even the people who don't drink. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Those are the most important people. Yeah. Um. So yeah, good birthday, for fine, Mike. Pretty fine birthday. Pretty fine birthday. Got some presents. That was nice. Got some things from us. Some friends. Uh, people acknowledged it. I spent time with the people I care about. What more could you ask? For? Literally, I don't care because I don't like birthdays. Really, mm-hmm. I think they're fine. Mm-hmm. Right, for mine. Other people's birthdays, I uh, I feel better about than sure, my own. Because sure. you know, think about the slow march towards death mm-hmm. and whatnot. And then it's like, how much attention? Because I, but here, because here's the thing, I'm not a normal person. No, in a lot of ways, mentally ill, most ways, sick freak, st- kind of stunted uh, personality wise. Mm-hmm. But also, I'm a comedian and a mm-hmm. podcaster, so I already get a lot of attention mm-hmm. in comparison to regular people yeah, yeah, who yeah. just go every day, wake up every day. No one day, looks at them. No one talks wake, to them. Go to a job. No one wants to listen to them talk. There's, they have nothing to offer. If you don't have a podcast, you have nothing to offer people. We've I've always, before, I've always said times. that. If you're not a stand-up comedian with a podcast, you might as well be the man in the iron mask. Mm-hmm. But So I already get like an inordinate amount of attention. Yeah. So then to ca- really care about your birthday, it's like how much more attention do you need? It's a lot. And sometimes I'll see comedians who do like photo shoots for their birthdays and shit. Oh, they love it. And I'm like, I think I, I think it would be awesome if I put a plastic bag over your head and and held onto it really tight until tight. you stop moving. Yeah, I think that would be good. It'd be good for not only them but society. Yeah, you. I think I, I think here's the thing. I think when you become a comedian, you have to you you should have to declare it with the government, mm-hmm. and then they get to sterilize you. Yeah, no children. You do. You don't get to inflict this mental illness. Wow. And then, and then here's the thing: only the people who really want to do it will do it because they know that's what the consequence is. That's a good point. I would have done it. It's a two for one. I would be like, yeah, I, even if I didn't want to be a comedian, I'm like, yeah, I want to be a comedian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to be a comedian. Free vasectomy. Yeah, free vasectomy. They cut your whole penis off on accident. Take it off. I don't well, care. Take a little off the top. It's that's what I would say if burden. I if I was if I was uncircumcised, I'd say, hey, take a little off the top. If and then you were they would, uncircumcised, baby. If I was an uncircumcised baby, I would say this: "Goo goo gaga boo boo doo boo 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 boo." Holding a, a fake cigar. Hey, take yeah. it off the top. Hey, the, yeah. Hey, my little baby penis. Do you think an uncircumcised baby has to peel back, um, kind of like a rubber skin around the tip of their bottle before they drink it? I think they do. I think they do too. I think they do. I think they do too, and I think that's nice. I think that's nice. <laughs> oh, I lost my little notebook. So, what's in your little notebook? Let's get. To I that. just wrote down some stuff. Yeah, write down some stuff. Read it. I just br- some topics I wanted to talk about. Let's go go right ahead. Glass and I'll in get the, to those questions. Glass in the elbow, got it. Crackhead waving the smoke away, got it. Birthday, got it. Security guard waving, got it. Um, let's see. That's for Movie Pass Corner. Look at that. Ted Kaczynski died. Rest in peace to the god. Hey, here's the thing. Here's <laughs> should have said that part. But here's the thing. I agree with him a lot on a yeah. lot of things. Here's the thing. I, I do too. I agree with him a lot of things. He shouldn't kill those people, but I agree with him a lot of things. Also, we should blame Harvard and the CIA for what they did to him. Okay? They pushed that man over the edge. Dude, here's the here's the, here's how fucked up I am. Uh-huh. Too many people were sad that he died that I'm like, I'm glad he died. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm happy he died. Fuck you. Yeah. Dude, I was on a killed himself. Took him long enough. Took him long enough. He's been in jail for like a while, and he's yeah. old as fuck. Yeah. He could have killed himself in that shack. Yeah. That would have been way better. You never better. watched the show, did you? What show? All uh, that? N- I did see that. <laughs> I saw a lot of episodes of that. Manhunt? The Bo- Unabomber story? You showed me part of it. It's so fucking good, eh, man. I don't like shows like that. Okay. Still good. I, b- I believe that it can be good, and I believe that I don't like shows like that. Do you that. know anything about the trial? The band? No. The, the thing we're talking about. The oh. Unabomber trial. Court, there's no courtroom. The, yeah. Uh, Do you know anything about Lawyers. It? Yes. Do you know? The, suit. You asked if I knew anything about it. Oh, come and on. And I'm telling you what I knew about it. Do you understand the circumstances in which he was arrested and 
punished. And I, uh, yeah, because it was a big manhunt for him. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> the way he was caught yeah. was through this thing called forensic linguistics. Yeah. Which was created for him. The 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 guy that the 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 manhunt show follows mostly, the detective. Yeah. He's very intelligent, really smart, really good with words. Okay. And they couldn't find Ted. They couldn't fuck. They were never going to find him. Yeah. They were never going to find him. But they realized that if they, they kind of study his language, they could figure out who he is. Yeah. Because the, the guy that Sam Worthington plays is from Philly and he says, he says water. Like he says water weird. War, war, water. water. He says water. water. And they're like, oh, you could figure out who I am because of that. Yeah. So does, does, he, does, these, does this manifesto, does this have anything that sticks out? Yeah. And one of the things that stuck out was he would say, um, eat your cake and have it too. And like, that's weird that he says it incorrectly. A malapropism. Oh, is that what that is? I think a malapropism is when you say something incorrect on purpose. Okay. Then, no, this isn't it. Apparently, that's the way it used to be said. Interesting. And then it got messed up at some point in American history, and everyone just started saying it the wrong way. But Ted Kaczynski was such a fucking... Annoying smart guy refused to do it incorrectly. Hey. And so this guy, this I can't remember the detective's name, the guy Sam Morgan's plays, starts realizing these things and develops this thing in the CIA or FBI, actually, called forensic linguistics. Okay. But what about this? Mm-hmm. Forensic linguini. That sounds delicious. That sounds delicious, sounds right? Delicious. You're eating it, you're like, a lot of words. Lot of words. Yeah. Yeah, DNA. Yeah. Um so that, that this is basically how they catch him because they put it out and Ted Kaczynski's brother realizes that, that it's his Ted. brother says it this way. Yeah. Sends this FBI some samples of Ted's writing and like, look, don't ever tell anyone we sent you this. No one, need, no one should know that we sent you this. I don't want my brother, my brother getting in trouble. I don't, I don't want me getting in trouble. They fucking throw that guy under the bus. His brother. His brother, yeah. Throw yeah. him under the bus. He gets like, when they name Ted Kaczynski, he gets like fucking tons of, of media attention on him that they didn't want. It's crazy. But anyway, in the trial, Ted Kaczynski realizes that they invented this style of detective work for him specifically. And like, well, this isn't going to hold up. He asks the guy Sam Warren's place to come talk to him in the cell. And Sam, he left. the He's like in the woods now. He's lost his mind a little bit. Cop. Little and copycat. The, the, the FBI is like, look, please come back, talk to Ted. Ted's going to ad- admit everything to you. And really, Ted was figuring out his, his, um, his trial like argument. Yeah. And he goes, you don't have anything on me. There's no physical proof. There's no this. There's, no, there's nothing. So like, they're going into the courtroom being like, we're fucked. Yeah. Unless Ted Kaczynski admits it, we're fucked. And the, the judge is like, yeah, you're guilty. <laughs> wow yeah fuck you you're guilty actually wow it's really crazy like it's really like that basically where he's like I'm not looking at this I'm not looking at your fucking uh, evidence the, talking to kids and he's like you're a brilliant person who's evil you're going to jail damn which is actually a lot of people oh. say uh-huh. that being brilliant and evil is a is a beautiful combo it's a beautiful combo it's the owner of Palmer of personalities. Arnold Palmer personalities. I can't stress this enough. If you haven't seen Manhunt, The Search for the Unbopper, it's unbelievable. Mike won't like it because it's vaguely true crime. I can't stress this enough. You should you should always have crushed red pepper in your house to put on top of pizza because you don't want to have to fucking rely on these Italian fucks to give you them. And even worse, if the people making your pizza aren't Italian. Yeah. If, if the people making your pizza aren't Italian, you should have a long, hard look in the mirror. But you should always have crushed red pepper on hand so you can mm-hmm. spice up your pizza. Because hot sauce on a slice of pizza, that's dollar slice bullshit. I'm talking real crushed red pepper mm-hmm. for that ass. It's really good. Yeah. Do you want to get in the movie pass corner? I do. Oh, wait, do you have those two questions we need to answer first? Yes, there they are. Okay. <clears throat> Unbelievable. I'm so fucking smart. Hey, uh, oh, I don't know. Yeah, okay. I'm going to say, okay. Uh, if you or if you and or your friends could give me and my friends any advice or inspiration to getting sober, we're both struggling with a 26 a night. I think it's 
twenty six beers a night. I don't know what twenty six a night means. If that's twenty six beers a night, dude, that's no bueno. That's bad. Can can tone it can tone it down for a podcast question, even though I'm sure you've answered it before. Okay, I see what you're saying. That's a problem. Twenty six beers a night is a problem. Let me see it. Let me see the question just to make sure. Mike's just reading the question, everybody. He, okay. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep, just keep going. Um, so number one, look, look. My, my sobriety came from a place of curiosity and uh, wanting to take get better care of myself. I don't necessarily think I had a problem. I wasn't drinking to excess very often. I would get drunk. <clears throat> But it wasn't that high of a number that consistently. I was probably drinking two to three nights a week, one to four beers when I would drink. Um, I also recently just found a, a photo of a, the last time I was drunk, I think. Really? Mm-hmm. Interesting. Uh, match, matchless. 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 Um, I would say, yeah, tone it down. I don't, I don't, I don't, I think it's, if you go cold turkey, I think it's an easy way to, to, relapse not to use that word too strongly but yeah um baby steps i would say try to find uh, hobbies try and find things you can throw your your idle time in because if you just try and stop drinking and just sit there and watch movies and stuff like you're begging to drink again yeah. it's really, you need to throw yourself into an activity or fucking uh, a sport anything that just that that it, it's going to keep your hands busy and your mind busy and during those hours there where you're like Likely to drink again. I think you should maybe dedicate your life to the sh- the straight edge. You should probably listen to a bunch of straight edge bands. Yeah. And just kind of internalize that messaging and think about how weak uh, people who drink or do alcohol or do alcohol, do drugs are. Kind of maybe that, maybe that'll help. Kind of shame and anger together. Because I never, I didn't have a problem or anything. I have just kind of been straight edge the whole time. So it's kind of like. I don't know. I don't really have advice. Your problem is just different. I have a lot of problems, but uh, drinking is not one of them. Yeah, drinking alcohol is not one of them. Let's, yeah, man. But so I don't. I wish I had more advice on sobriety. But you kind of have to want it. Huge, That's what it seems huge. like from all the people I know that are sober people, like who have whatever are either in the program or or just have got, done it on their own you have to want it but the 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 hobby thing is is seems really true cuz it always makes me think of uh Casey James Salango's joke about dry january which is a joke i don't think he i think he maybe did it like four times and i uh-huh. saw him do it like twice but he's talking about cuz he he likes to drink and he's, but he does sober January every year. And he was being like, man, I didn't realize how much alcohol changed, like how I felt before I did uh, like dry January. And it was instead of day and night, it was just day and dark day. Yeah. But it's like, I'm doing his joke a disservice, by the way, uh, by telling it poorly and not really remembering it. But. Yeah, I think that's the thing is you have to want it. You have to I I don't care. I don't think you have to hit bottom. I I think you just have to I want I do put it in a fight club way. Yeah. I I think you have to hit a bottom but in kind of a gay sex way. But I think <laughs> what? Hitting a gay guy is what you just suggested. No, I'm saying hit a bottom like fuck him. Okay. Like I'm hitting it. Oh, okay. Not like hit him. No, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, you could do that too if you if want. He's in, if he's into it, yeah, I'm sure he is. He's a bottom, but I just mean more like you gotta hit hit that shit, hit a bottom from yeah, the man, back. Yeah, try gay sex. Yeah, have you tried gay sex. Mike's advice. Have you tried gay sex instead of drinking? Yeah, but uh, no, I do think it's like a thing where it's like you have to really want to do it and you have to dedicate yourself to it. It's not something that you can kind of half ass. Yeah, if you want to stay doing it, get someone to talk to. Yeah. Talk to someone. Else. I'm not saying get a therapist or anything, but like, maybe uh, if anyway. you have if you have anyone in your life who doesn't drink, I'm sorry, that, that doesn't drink that much or often, and just have that, just make yourself check in with them. Like, I mean, like if someone in your life is going to be like, hey, you have to call me every Tuesday. That's what you have to do now. Yeah, 
I mean, that's why AA people have sponsors. Yeah. Because you, you it's, it's accountability. Different. Absolutely. Yeah. So I think that's it. That's our advice. Yeah. Please try. Take care of yourself. Please try. Care of yourself. Please try. That goes out to everyone also. <clears throat> Take care yeah. of yourself in general. We love Dude, you. Please don't Speaking hurt of me. taking care of yourself. I like how on your birthday, everyone's like, what if I show you the worst picture you've ever seen of yourself? Yeah. Dude, that picture I showed you last night of me from like a year ago, it's one of the worst pictures I've ever seen in my entire life. You think it's one of the worst pictures I've ever seen? It's I think it's I you. look the worst. Oh, okay, okay. It's in it. Well, I mean, you got cut people some credit. You've only started just being good looking like a month, a week okay, ago. Okay, first of all, I've always been good looking. I'm just not fat anymore. You hate every picture of you that's not a week ago. Yeah, good. Yeah, but that's always been the fact. So what are people supposed to do? Uh, fucking help me out. <laughs> <laughs> Photoshop pictures fucking, of you, dude. No, look at that. That's really bad. Yeah, you're fat. What do you want people to do? Not share pictures on your birthday that they care about you. Everyone's not going to be posting. Hey, here's a picture of Mike took a selfie of yeah. yesterday. Yeah, that'd be nice. Sexy <laughs> ass. Show some sexy ass pics of me if you like me so much. Show everyone the hard work I've done. I see your you, point. You posted some good photos of me. I did. I also posted a couple bad ones on purpose. Of course you did. You I, think I, I, didn't I po- like the sleeping one. I, I think it's cre- the sleeping one is funny. It's I, funny. I'm not gonna, okay, that yeah. one. That it's not. That I don't count. And it's that. From a very important weekend. Yeah. No. I don't. I. I, I didn't think of that as one. Good. I thought the one. The one where I'm blonde is bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I also look bad there too. Yeah, dude. We look like shit. Look shitty. Dude. Um, Fuck, we <laughs> suck. Now we're awesome. Now we're awesome that we're in our mid to late thirties and still live together. Absolutely, we're awesome. Um, if you ever moved out, I'd kill myself. This is the Patreon <laughs> a Patreon question, but I oh. have to answer now. Hey guys, I got around to watching 20th Century Women. It was fantastic. Oh. I was wondering which character you each related to most, and why do you agree with each other's chosen character? Oh, who do I relate to the most? I'm clearly Billy Crudup. I'm clearly the little boy. You're... Oh, I was going to say you're... Uh, what's her face? Greta Gerwig? Yeah. I no. I was going to say you're more Greta Gerwig. She's too whimsical, I think. Mm, okay. I think I'm more the little boy who likes punk music. Yeah, right. And the can't handle... It, likes- who likes punk music and gets overtaken by women he's in love with and mm. all the other women around him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you're, the, and you're the stoic guy. I'm the stoic guy who is just alone. Uh-huh. And just rails yep. women who are in town. Uh huh. It's <laughs> yep. Hey, it's my we cross do to bear. Can. Do you agree? Yeah, I agree too. All right, <laughs> unbelievable. It's a great movie. If you haven't seen it, I'm also a little bit of Billy Crudup, but we had to yeah. pick one. We had to pick one. So I'm the little boy. <laughs> little boy is Mike. I think that's. Let me double yeah. check one quick pass through my mm-hmm. photos because I always. That's fine. Just take screenshot yeah. of, of questions, and it kind of will forget. Hey, if you want a really good at, way to access, que- send us questions, the best way you can do it is subscribing to patreon.com backslash a little time pod. There you and go, you can baby. send us messages directly. I guess you can also send them to the Instagram, but some of us don't look at that. Some of us forget. Some of us forget to look at it, and some of us don't know the password and took it off their phones. And that's it. And that's Hold all on. you're going to get. Really? Is there no more there? That okay. Um, I like looking at my little list. Yeah, man. I think it's fun. I think oh, is, this I, one? I, is that nope. one? I think if you haven't found one by now, they're done. I knew I have one. Why don't you just look in the screenshots folder? Well, it's too late to do that now. Mm-hmm. Well, let's just keep going. Why don't we go right into the movie pass corner? Okay. Unless you found a question right now. No. Movie, movie pass, pass corner. corner. Michael, what have you been watching? Uh, do you want, should we talk about the documentary thing, or should we end with that? Let's start with that. Okay, so today we watched three episodes of Unchained. Unchained, the, baby. The Netflix Tour de France documentary. Yep. And it's really, really good. Really. Really good. It's it had me riding great. my bike around, being all French, being like, "Merci, sacré Merci, bleu." Sacre. I'm a pedophile. Oh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm a, uh-huh. where are this cargo? Where are the children for sex? Mm-hmm. Kind of stuff like that. That's I, what that, they sound. That's like. not what I believe. That's what they sound I was doing an impression of a French guy. No so itchy. I don't know, but man. It's a documentary series profiling what seems like three or four teams. I mean, so far we've watched three episodes, yeah. so it just seems to be kind of focusing on a team. Yeah. Per episode. Team per episode dynamic and the stars within. Yeah. Um, of how grueling and 
impossible it is to complete the Tour de France. It's really an unrealistic ask. I didn't realize it's the most widely watched sporting event in the world. By far. But here's the thing. Here's what they get you. It's fucking three weeks long. It all adds up. It all adds up. So I'm sure if you were like, hey, uh, if no one is, is if the, the last fo- day. if the football season, if the the NFL season was one event, yeah, then that would be the most watched thing in the That's world, you know. But it's unfair. It's not unfair. It's just you know, it's Strange a little standard. Yeah. But a lot of fucking people watch this shit. Yeah, and you um, know what? They they deserve it. Those mo- uh, the people watching the 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 people competing, they deserve to have that many people watching them. They deserve to have that many eyes on them. It's unbelievably an, difficult it's thing crazy. to accomplish. Hey, do you want to ride your bike six hours every day for three weeks? Yeah. Up mountains and shit? You never get a day to rest. You never get a fucking chance. It's ridiculous. To recuperate. You're like, hey, remember the hardest thing you've ever done in your life? Well, also you have to do it again tomorrow, but it's on cobblestone. Tomorrow's on cobblestones and a lot of people fall. Yeah. There's just some, there's just some guy... Waving a flag in your face while you're doing the hardest thing you could ever think of. They should all be riding their bikes with a loaded gun. Dude, it'd be a sword at least. So often, they're riding their bikes up like a narrow road, and dumbass fans are just literally in the road waving a flag in their face. Like, Yeah. We saw a clip today of of a rider getting like clothesline. Not necessarily by a fan. It was like um, like a pit crew guy giving out lunches. But still, he got like fucking, fucking slammed in the face. Slammed in the face. Yeah. He got clotheslined. Um, but yeah, but a lot. Of, I mean, you could easily YouTube uh, bike race problem fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah. you fucking fill it out, you know what he meant. You know what I Don't meant. Don't be weird or cruel. <laughs> be nice yeah. to my friend. But so many riders are just eating shit. Dude, it's so Because they're going so fast. They're going so fast and they're all so close to each other. It's, if you've never, yeah, if you have, like, it's rare to get footage that in. Because like, oh my, yeah, some of them have like GoPros on their bikes, which is crazy. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, I, I'm, I'm, I can't believe they convinced any of them to put a GoPro on their bike because cycling at that level, like they're obsessed with shaving ounces yeah. Off of their body, off of the bike. So, like to add like a GoPro, which isn't heavy by any standard, but it is adding. Yeah. It all. It's it's just. It's. Do you think they give it to their worst team member? I have no idea. Because they're already like, you're not going to be in first place. Yeah. There's no way the lead guy is like. I'll take. No. It. Fuck no. Um, the Tour de France, the Tour de France, which is different from a Tour de Force. It's a lot different from. Which a Tour I thought de they were doing a wordplay, but apparently it's a completely different thing. Hmm. Well, you learn something new every day. Yeah. Um, Not me, though. I kind of already know I everything. I forget one thing every day. I know everything already. Um, I get reminded of stuff that I already knew. Here's what's fun about <laughs> being... Uh, <laughs> That'd be so funny. Somebody tells you something and you go, I already knew that, actually. I knew thank that. You, thank but you. thank you for reminding me. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, here's the fun thing about being a sports fan but not following anything. Like I like yeah. sports, but I don't give a shit to follow it. Yeah. This is about... Last year's Tour de France? I think it's about 2022. I have no idea what happened. No I don't know fucking who wins idea. the fucking thing. It's I don't know awesome. who loses. There could be a terrorist attack in the middle of it, and I have no idea. So it's fun getting to watch this in a dramatic, like a dramatic, dra- dramatic sized, dramatized, Dr- dramatized, dramatized, Dram- dramatized, dramatized. Yeah, it's a dramatification. <laughs> dramatic- <laughs> version of what happened. Dramatification. Like it's really what happened, but it's like you know, there's interstitials and there's. Interviews like it, it yeah. makes it much you, more. You get, you get so much behind the scenes access so too, which is crazy. Yeah, seeing these tour buses full of gamer chairs for some reason. Yeah, it's really fun cycling. I, I, because I used to uh, ride bikes a lot in right before I moved to New York, and a little bit in the beginning when I moved to New York in 2009. I used to be a, a little fixed gear boy. I was a fixed gear rider, and I was really into it. Like I didn't really anything else, and I was obsessed with it. And I would like, we would do critical mass if you remember that. In Fort Lauderdale, but we mostly do it in Miami because it's way bigger. And the critical mass, you basically just a, a nice, easy ride, trying to like be like a, you know a visual protest for bike lanes and for more cycling and less cars. And that would be probably like a three-hour ride, easy, easy, light pace, yeah. three-hour ride. You're done at the end. 
myself and like four and four or five, six of the the fastest riders would then start really riding. Yeah. And we'd break off from the crew and ride for like four more hours all Jeez. over Miami. Dude, there was a the club in Richmond that it was really tall. It was like a big, it was an old bank. And I, there was like kind of a, you know, the, the, the improv in Tampa. Yeah. How they have the kind of like crow's nest where you stand. Yeah. So it's kind of like that literally right before I'm going to go on stage in Richmond. Cause you, there's like a weird wall with no ceiling over it. Like kind of, uh, cutting off like the front door from the showroom so i can see over this little wall and there's just a critical mass going by and i'm like <laughs> i'm gonna whoa i'm gonna wait until that's what they're still they're still living in a world where critical mass like yeah, means something in richmond then. which is funny but i was like i'm gonna wait till that is gone before i go on stage sure. no fucking way so i don't make funny. a noise and be in fucking Cowbells. And Where have their tits out or whatever the sure. people do shit like that. Who knows too. what they're doing in There's like a real hippie infiltration in critical mass sometimes, it feels yeah, like. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it, it's... it's uh, Any kind of protesting thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any protesting, any kind of like green. Yeah. They're like, can we go? And you're like, fuck, I guess. I guess so, but you be hurry up. Stay in the back. I don't want downwind of you fucks. Yeah, oh God, no. But yeah. But the show's very good. It's really good. We have three episodes in. How many uh, is there? Eight? Great. Yeah, I'll wait till That's you awesome. get back. Okay. Unless you're gonna watch it on the plane, and then I and then I won't. I'm wait. gonna download the next two episodes just in case. Okay. But I'll let you know if I don't watch them. Okay. By the time I land. Yeah. I won't even wait till I land. Hey, hey, hey! That's nice. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to watching watch watching more of that. I love watching all the little uh, team. Uh, I mean, they're not coaches. Dynamics. Oh, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of managers. Like, I think they yeah, call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? Love watching them freak out. Yeah. It's really fun. You watch any movies? No. Wow. I've watched a lot of Taskmaster. You've watched a lot of Taskmaster. I've wa- I watch all of season 14. Series 14. Sorry. I apologize. I watch all of series 14. Thank you. And I watch all of series 15. 15 and 14. Okay. And I'm in, th- in the middle of 13. Roundabout way, but okay. Yeah. Um, I love that the was, show. That was like me when I watched... Because they, I found out that the last season of that '70s show didn't have Eric on it, so I was like, "Let me watch that," because I didn't ever see it. And I was like, "Well, let me watch the season beforehand. We'll watch season seven, so then, so then I can watch season eight and see what the difference is." Uh-huh. And then I was like, "I might as well watch one through six okay. after, after that." So I watched seven, eight, and then one through six. Wow, you did like Star Wars. Yeah, <laughs> and I hated it just as much. Yeah, man, that show's not very good. No, but I did watch it. It's very easy to watch. Yeah, I watched it sitting in a wooden kitchen chair in my dad's computer room after I moved back home to live with him in my early 20s. Beautiful. I definitely wasn't suicidal. No, uh, whatever deal. anyone says, it's wrong. It's not true. I was not suicidal. It's not then. true. Don't tell people that. I wasn't suicidal. I just watched all of that 70s show out of order and stayed up talking to people on Facebook Messenger every night. Oof. Yeah. Um, hey, and, we've all been there. No, we haven't. No one's lived a life as sad as mine, and that's true. People but, have people have lived sadder or less sad, but yeah, not, not exactly not, not exactly as sad as mine. It's very specific. Thank you. But Taskmaster, Master, uh, series fifteen was very good. Fourteen had some weak spots in terms of the games they had to accomplish. Yeah. Um, but it's so fun! It's so fun! I wish I could be on it. Thirteen. It seems what's like so your good. sense on thirteen so far? Thirteen so far is pretty good. Uh, yeah. I don't love the cast. Yeah. Fifteen. I, had, like, I watched some episodes of Fifteen with you. Good cast. Good cast. Really good cast. Thirteen. Like I don't know any of these people. Usually I know one person. Yeah. I don't know any of these people. Yeah. So I'm like, eh, whatever. Yeah. I like, mean, Alex they only is have, in it. They only have so many celebrities. They only have so. Let me see if I can find the the cast of. Okay. Task. What about you? I watched the movie Bronson. Oh. Man, that movie's good. It's a good. I just fucking watch. love that movie. Good eating. That, that's good said. eating right there. Made me want to do push-ups in my bedroom. Alone. Great. Really great soundtrack. Great soundtrack. Really great soundtrack. Nicholas Winding Refn. 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 Looks crazy. It looks crazy. It looks like a. Uh, it looks like a Guy Ritchie movie on mushrooms. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Kind good, of. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know. That's kind of what it reminds me of, because it doesn't remind me of, 
It doesn't remind me of Pusher, and it doesn't remind me of Drive. No. It reminds me a little bit of um, um, the Muay Thai movie he made with Ryan Gosling, Only God Forgives. Okay. It's, it, that's I didn't know that's a Muay Thai one. movie. Yeah, he does. he's an American in Thailand who does Muay okay. Thai. That's kind of cool. Maybe I'll watch that. It's okay. It's okay? It's okay. They what? wear boxing shorts and it pisses me off. That's interesting. What's your favorite movie of his? Of Nicholas? Yeah. Bronson? I think Bronson and the Drive. Yeah. Um, I think this is me for real. That's me for real. That's me for real. I like Bronson, and then I think I like Pusher, and then I think I like Drive. I gotta watch Pusher. Pusher's good. Mm. It's very much his first movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But fucking Mads Mikkelsen is this, in it. That's awesome. This is how much I liked Bronson. Uh, my first big X got me Pusher three se- the the on in DVD on DVD the three of them. Wow. Like a lot. And you didn't watch them. I didn't watch them. That's why she broke up with you. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> That's why she did that because you were rude. I, we watched Bron- the first time I watched Bronson. You were like, also, let's run it back. Let's run it back. No, uh, was at Top Shelf Tattoo mm-hmm. in beautiful Bayside, Queens. Beautiful. Because we would have a old Chinese woman who'd come in once a week with bootleg DVDs. Does she have toys too? No, just DVDs. There was a lady. There was a lady in my town growing up, and then also a lady in Ridgewood when we lived there. She would always come in to Taco Bell, which is funny, because I was like, why am I here often enough that I know you're here this often? Yeah, yeah, My life sucks. But she would have, like, DVDs, and then she would also have those, like, you know, like, the toys you would get, you would see at the circus? That'd be like, you'd have, like, a, it's just like yeah, a yeah, plastic yeah. thing that yeah, yeah, yeah. Spins, spins and lights yeah. up, and you're just like, interesting. <laughs> I guess okay. this is fun. Okay. I yeah. guess I'm not thinking about my life decisions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she walked in one day and was like, DVDs. And uh, Bert would always buy a couple. I would buy some sometimes. He's like, fuck, a great deal. Yeah. And for some reason, like, I would see movies from this- her six months before they, I even heard a commercial for one of them. That's so funny. So we got Bronson. And we had a, t- a TV. And you never walked, you never went to Top Shelf, right? I've never been to Top Shelf, no. When you walk in. I've never been to Smith Street either. You've never been in Smith Street? No. I didn't know that. No. Um, when you walk in, it's like a normal tattoo shop, but. There's a, a barrier, obviously, to get to yeah, like that yeah. tattooing. Saloon doors? No, normal door, but low. Um, and there's a TV on the left side of the wall. Jamie's station was right there. There'd be like a hallway to get to the back to Bert's station. And the front desk area was like a three-sided, like almost like a command desk looking area. That's okay. where Bert would draw. And I'd be hanging around. And we would just put Bronson on. And we, it was a quiet day at the shop. And we just watched it all the way through. And we're like... What the fuck was yeah, that? Yeah, that was yeah. awesome. It was great. Really yeah. good movie. Damn. Dude. Tom Hardy's first Tom Hardy's big movie. Body looks crazy, but he's also like five eight. That's what's funny. Right? Watching it this time, like, yeah, he's not very big. He's like five. I he's five eight one eighty five. I think in the movie I looked it up. That's funny. Maybe he's a little bit taller than that, but not like. I'm like, all right. Yeah, he. Yeah, I'm I got to work on my traps though. Sure. I mean, we all do. No, we don't. don't. Um, Is it cool to have big traps? Up to you. Damn. I hate that answer. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that answer so yeah, it's much. Cool. Yeah, it's cool to have big traps. Okay. Um, I'll start doing some shrugs. Then. Yeah, but Bronson is a, a good movie. Yeah. It's a, interestingly like, not formatted, but the way how he has Bronson talk to an audience in a weird, breaking the fourth wall, but not. Yeah. It's a very interesting way of... of, of Adding narration for yeah. a film, you know? It's an interesting choice. Yeah. Um, if you don't know, this isn't Charles Bronson, the actor. This is, his name is Michael Peterson. He's Britain's most notorious and violent criminal. He was so violent that he got kicked out of prison. I'll say that again. He was so violent, he got kicked out of prison. He did too much dollars in damage to the prison. They're like, what? Well, let's just get him out. Let's just see what happens. Let's yeah. let him get out. Um, he lasted literally 69 days and got arrested for, for theft. But his initial problem was he, he robbed the post office for like nothing, like 15p. I don't know. Yeah. And he just kept getting in fights. He just kept getting in fights in the prison. I, I used to own, I don't know, I, someone borrowed it and fucking didn't give it back. I used to own one of his books. He's written a lot of books. Yeah, it makes sense. Called Solitary Fitness. All about how, how he got jacked. In prison. In prison. Kind of reminds me of Chopper. Very similar to Chopper. 
Yeah. Very Two sides of the Ma- same coin. Mark Chappery. You got to watch Chopper if you haven't seen it, by Eric the way. Eric Bana, pretty good job. Eric Bana plays Chopper, and if you look at Chopper, he's lucky that Eric Bana played him. Oh, Eric yeah, Bana's, yeah, yeah. Eric Bana's really handsome. Eric Bana's really handsome. Mark Chopper Reed, rest in peace, is not. He's not. Well, and now he's dead, so he's not nothing. He's not nothing. Or he actually is. Cut yeah. his own ears off. Um, Crazy. But... If you haven't seen Bronson for some reason and you like Drive and you like uh, Fight Club and you like things like uh, Blade Runner 2049. Yeah, like American that, you know, Psycho. American Psycho. The he, just, the, the he Just Like Me For Real. The He Just Like Me For Real. If you like that, Genre you're going to love movie. Bronson. Yeah. Bronson good. Bronson, Bronson good. really good. Um. Oh, and I rewatched Hot Fuzz the other night. Oh, you gave Hot Fuzz a rewatch. Yeah. Has it been a while? Yeah, for sure. A couple, maybe a year and a half. Well, that's a good while. Yeah. At least a year. Held up still. Still great. Okay. Nothing. No, literally. No notes. No notes. Other than, I think it just might be my TV, the uh, volume discrepancy. That's that's one that catches me off guard sometimes. Bugs me. It really bugs me. Because I'm like, does the, some music kicks in and it's loud as fuck. And then they're talking all British and like, and I'm like, oh, fucking pick one. And do one so I can stay in the up or down. Yeah. Here's the cast for Taskmaster Series 13. 13. So obviously Alex Horn and Greg Davies, the hosts. We have Bridget Christie. Nothing. Chris Ramsey. Nothing. Judy Love. Nope. Ardnell O'Holloran. Not even a little. And Sophie Duker. Nope. Never heard of those fucking people. Nope. But in 14... I did fall in love with Fern Brady. Oh, she's on 14? 14. I thought I was watching 15. No, that's 14. James A. Caster's not on 14. Why is he on here? Yeah, it's it's Fern Brady, yeah. Munya Chihuahua, da- Daro Brian. Brian. That's a weird way to spell Brian. Brian. Yeah. Uh, John Kearns, Sarah M- Milliken. Yeah. And, uh, Sarah Milliken's really funny. Yeah, Sarah Milliken. I don't know why they have James A. a. Caster and Rod Gilbert. They're not on that season. But Fern Brady. Bro. Oof. Hachimachi. What a cute Truly, Scottish woman. I don't, I don't know. know what the fuck she is. Truly. Hachimachi. <laughs> um, that's it. That's all I watched. Yeah, that's all I think I've all I've watched too. A lot of YouTube like usual. Mm-hmm. That's it. Yeah. I've been watching a lot of Shark Tank again. Yeah, we've been in the we've been in the tank. We've been in the tank. We've the been tank pulled the tank. us back in. Yeah, we're tanked up. We're tanked we're, up. What are we, the U.S. military? Because we're spending a lot of time with tanks. Absolutely. But yeah, we've been tanking it's it. It's, it's fun. fun. It's fun. I love to hear percentages. Yeah. I love to hear big numbers. Watch the one where Mark Cuban is like, this is the worst pitch I've ever seen in my entire life about those guys that are like, no, you put the name in the thing, and, the, and they're like, yeah, yeah, but yeah. how do you get the names? And he's like, you put, the, you you put, put it in. in the, you put it in the thing. <laughs> and he's like, get out. Shut <laughs> up. Shut up, you idiots. Yeah. Um. Uh. Yeah, there's some good. What was the one? Man. I'm always. here. The feeling I always have watching Shark Tank is these companies, these businesses will get these evaluations, or they'll get they'll get a, a bid or, or an auction. What do you call it? When they. When the sharks buy an you, offer, they get these offers, huge offers, huge amounts of money that I'll never see in my entire life for ideas that if I had them, I would let them pass through my body immediately. I would let them float through the molecules in my brain yeah. without a second thought because it's so unextraordinary and, or, and boring. Oh, you mail your dull knives and we'll sharpen them for you. What? Who gives what? a fuck? Who cares? That Isn't sucks. there a guy that does that in your Seven neighborhood? Seven million dollars? You kidding yeah. me? It's just shit like that. You like? It's not like and it's annoying. It went because a lot of things were like, oh, I, I would never think of that. It's so intelligent. Like I thought that six months ago, and I don't. It doesn't seem important. It doesn't seem yeah like there's so, money in it. it seems no. so stupid and arbitrary. Because it's like the opposite of modern art, where you're like, I could do that, but you didn't. Yeah, yeah. I would. Why would any? My but most of the stuff is like, why would anyone do this? How would anyone do this? Yeah, I, I understand modern art, and to an extent, I don't understand half of these businesses. Dude, I saw one where being like, I'm gonna put all of my time and effort into little hats for dogs, 
And then they're like, Poochie, Poochie, Woochie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the hat store. Poochie, Woochie, the hat store. And then Mark Keel will be like, how much money did you put in this? And like, $750,000. Like, and, and just I, live on that. And I want to be like, where did you get? Who are you not that? happy with your $750,000? How much do you need? If I had $750, to, if I had $750 <laughs> you guys would never see me again. I'd Dude. stop doing this podcast immediately, oh, and, I would, and I would buy a big shirt. Yeah. Or whatever I could get. With $750, I'd be getting half a bicycle. Unbelievable. Dude. Just unbelievable. $750,000 to put into like granola for uh, granola for a horse. <laughs> I got granola for a horse. I got candles for parakeets. Yeah, dude. It's like I got I got I got. I got, I got a shirt that lets you know that homeless people exist. <laughs> Sharks, you know how chef's hats, chef hats have those holes in it, in the middle of it? Yeah. All of my hats have that. Oh, every hat. They're called open toe hats. Open I want $2 billion it's for a, 5%. It's a, it's, a, it's a batting helmet with a hole in it for ponytails. And th- that exists, by the way. <laughs> and it's like fucking... I need nine million dollars because I because I don't just take a regular batting helmet and cut a hole in it. No, I make I'm injection, injection molding has to be rejiggered mm-hmm. for my business. Dude, I saw one where a guy was selling this workout thing, a workout routine. Yeah, it's nothing. It's literally aerobics for one specific type of dance from like Baltimore or some shit like that. Crumping. No, it wasn't crumb. It was, it was very similar. Go go. No, it's it, I, I don't. It's it's so close to racial slur. I don't even want to say the name of the business. It's so close to the worst racial slur. I don't want to say WAP. Yeah, <laughs> that's the worst racial slur. Yeah, I can sure think it of. is. That's the worst one I can think of. It's a password for all my fucking emails. It's not the worst. Um, I wouldn't say that. No, you wouldn't say that. It, that it's the name of my. All right. <laughs> uh, but I'm like, I'm like, he, he's saying there's like, I want fifty thousand dollars for twelve percent, and they're like, what is it? And he goes, it's this workout. And he goes, how am I supposed to make money off of this? And they're like, sell DVD. We'll do, we'll do it. And they're like, no, this is not I, a I, business. I love when they're like, we make cakes, and they're like, okay, <laughs> we sold like, a lot. And yeah, like, uh-huh. they're pr- and they're pretty good, and they eat them, and they go like, these are pretty good. And then what do you want to do? They're like, we want to make more cakes. <laughs> And they're like, how do we scale this as a business? And they're like, that's why we're here. <laughs> we're here. I need you to tell me what to do. It's always funny when you see the sharks ask the uh, people. Uh, the, the entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs. How much does I get my money back? You can see their face. Be like, oh, right. This isn't charity. Oh, fuck. You want your money back. Oh, I forgot. Dude, I love that it's become like everything else and you need a fucking sob story. Yeah. Everything needs a sob story. Dude, every, every, dude it's like every contestant on Chopped. Is like my mother died of knife poisoning, <laughs> and I uh, spit a lot. <laughs> and and if I don't win, <laughs> chopped, my daughter will kill herself. <laughs> my daughter will commit suicide if I don't win, chopped. And then they go like, "Hi, sharks! I make. I'm the first Italian American business owner <laughs> to who who makes." One eye glasses, <laughs> and if you and if and if and if you don't give me and Lori's like, four, I see this means a lot to you. Yeah, if you don't give me four hundred thousand dollars for two percent, I the mob is gonna kill me. <laughs> and I'm like, well, where's the mob involved? Don't worry about. I think it. Miami Ink started that. The sob story for everything. Because every tattoo had to be a fucking big deal. Had to mean something. Every guy's like, oh, my nephew died from me pushing him down the stairs. Dude, literally, they were like at the... I don't remember if it was Mac or the doctor when I was getting fucking... When they were doing surgery on my grape or whatever. They were like, what is the meaning of a scorpion tattoo? And I went, Brittany drew a scorpion. I, I wanted scorpion. It's one of the 20 tattoos white guys get. How many more animals can I get, buddy? Yeah. What am I supposed to do? Scorpion look cool. That's what it is. You either, here's here's the rule. You either get one tattoo that's meaningful or get a bunch of tattoo and one is meaningful. But if you have like six tattoos and they're all meaningful, that's weird. You're being a weird person. Also, grow the fuck up if you only have tattoos that are good. Yeah, let me do one on you. Don't fucking, well, there you go. Don't have a fucking 
only good tattoos, that means you're a coward who waited too long and thought about it. You don't just have a dog shit one that you thought was kind of funny. You don't get a bad one for fun? Get a bad one for fun. Get a bad one for fun. Here's the problem, actually. Most people only have bad ones. Yeah, and I kind of respect that more than people who only have good ones. No, I don't respect that more. <laughs> I do. We're, we're two different people. We're two different people. And I hate that. <laughs> it, it fucking bugs me that we're two different people. We should be one person. You should have my opinions, yeah, and, yeah. and I should be. You should be saying something, and I should be like, "Oh my god, <laughs> should, I I agree." Why am I? Why even have two microphones? Why is there even two? Why, mi- we should, why do, should we have wait. one microphone that we're all, that we just shout our opinions? Into? Our whole podcast should be like that one game in whose line is it anyway? Where like I think that white people are around. True. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you for listening to the podcast. Thank Follow you. Mike Caprusi at Mike Caprusi. Follow Diego Lopez at this Diego Lopez. Patreon.com backslash a little time pod for four bonus, bonus episodes, episodes a month, month plus video of all eight episodes. We'll see you soon. You know what? I'm announcing it right now. If you stay till the end, you get to know this. I'm putting up three new t shirt designs Woo! next week. Three new t shirts. If you're, if you're listening to this the day it comes out, which will be the 15th of June, 2023. Yep. That means I will be putting up new t-shirt designs. I'll put them up on Monday. How does that? Putting them up on Juneteenth. There you go. To celebrate Juneteenth, we're going to have three new t-shirt designs in the store. So June 19th, three new t-shirt designs. You got Designed it. by yours truly, Michael Vincent Abrusi. Bye. 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 bye.